Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me in our prenatal yoga flow. I ask that we use the next minute to gather any supplies we feel we may need today for our session. Maybe grab some water, something to stay hydrated with. Uh, maybe grab a nice foster pillow, a yoga block, a yoga strap. This is going to be a freestyle flow. We're going we're gonna to focus on self in this session. We're also going to focus on baby. So we're going to see what poses manifest throughout our session here today. Just anything to help us prepare our mind and our bodies for labor and delivery. And once we gather our supplies, maybe find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. Keeping in mind that we can sit on a bolster pillow to help raise our hips if that feels good for us as well. Using the easy seat to help ground and soothe our minds and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken. Keeping in mind that when we sunk our bodies downward, we, we squish baby. So keeping our spinal cord nice and elongated, it helps with our posture, but it also creates extra space in the belly for baby. Especially when we get to those bigger months, we may feel some things underneath our rib and we're, we are squinching over in pain or discomfort. But simply keeping our bodies elongated here, we can create extra space that could help maybe help with some of the discomfort. So maybe keeping in mind to always keep that nice, proper posture. With our shoulders melted downward away from our ears, meaning they are not shrugged upwards, allowing our bodies to completely relax here. As we breathe our palms and heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe pulling our thumbs inward towards our sternum, which is the center of our chest. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes, if that feels good for us. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we hang out here in our seated prayer for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms downward towards our tummies, may we connect our hands to our bellies in any way that feels good for us. We are taking this time to show baby a little love and affection. Now, maybe we have big bellies, maybe we are newly pregnant, or maybe we are trying to manifest baby. Whatever it may be, may we bring our palms to our tummy, gaze in the eyes down, close in the eyes, envisioning a healthy pregnancy, a healthy body, a healthy and happy mom often creates a healthy and happy baby. So maybe use the next couple of minutes to simply go inward, focusing on the fetus within or the fetus to be or the baby within. Natural breaths. Noticing how our hands feel on our tummies. Maybe we feel baby moving within our bodies. Maybe whatever it may be, may we simply be aware of how we feel right here, right now for four more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, keeping in mind to keep that spinal cord nice and elongated. Shoulders flow upwards towards the ears. This allows our spinal cord to get nice and long. With our palms together, interlacing our fingers, 
with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We are feeling that stretch as our arms slightly go towards the back of the room. This here is a slight back bend. Chin slightly up. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale enough to our salute. Breathing our palms apart, coming into that seated extended mountain. Slightly twisting our bodies just a little. Lowering our palms downward to the front and to the back. And we're gonna slightly gaze or look towards the shoulder. Now we're only in a subtle twist. We're not even really twisting the body. We're not gonna go into that deep twist there. We're just slightly twisting, just a little. We don't wanna over twist that body here. Noticing how this feels as we are gazing at our right shoulder. We're gazing over that right shoulder. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're going to flow into that seated star with our palms outward towards the side. We're going to slightly turn our bodies towards the left. We're not going to go into a deep twist. We are going to slightly subtly turn that body, bringing those palms downward towards the earth. We're going to slightly gaze over that left shoulder or gaze towards that left shoulder, ensuring that we're not over twisting the body. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that seated star. As we flow to that salute, breathing to our seated prayer, relaxing those shoulders downward. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop position, ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. Palms flat on the earth. We're gonna flow down to our cow, dropping our tummies downward towards the earth. Breathing to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle. Exhaling back to cow. Flow into cat. Coming back to our tabletop position. We're gonna hang out here just for a second. If all feels well and we have our balance, we're going to extend our left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch. We have both of our palms flat on the earth. We are gazing forward. And if we're able, if it's in our practice, we can extend that right arm forward. We are in that full sunbird. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Lowing back to our table as we extend that right leg towards the back, nice and elongated here. Right legs towards the back, nice and elongated. And if all feels well, we have our balance, we can breathe that left hand forward. We are in our sunbird, opposite side, as we are gaze forward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe this right arm up in the air, we're gonna feel that stretch. Right arm flows up towards the heavens, gazing up at our right fingertips, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left. We are nice and wide-legged here, creating that space for baby as our torsos come downward towards the earth. Relaxing our bodies here, relaxing our bodies in the thread the needle. And if it's in our practice, we can wrap that left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms on the earth, thread the needle, five breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread our needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we take that left arm and breathe it up towards the heavens, fingertips faces the ceiling, gazing at our fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose, thread the needles, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to cat, lowering back the table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we're in a wide-legged down dog if that feels good for us. As we are walking our dog by moving our feet left and right. Finding our paws. As we walk our feet towards our hands, we're gonna come into a wide-legged half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward here. Three more breaths. As we exhale to our mountain pose, palms are at our side. We are in our mountain, standing tall, standing firm with our feet rooted to the earth. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a standing salute. As we are ascending, growing, and becoming new things, allowing our lives to ascend to new levels. And no matter where we go in life, how high we may become, how successful we may be, as we ascend to new places, may we always stay grounded and rooted with who we are. As we breathe our palms down to our standing prayer, palms are at heart center, as those shoulders relax downward away from our ears. In our standing prayer, may we go inward for four breaths. And maybe keep it in mind that we can bring our legs slightly apart if we need that stance. We want to always create that, that extra space or that stance just in case we feel a little dizzy, especially when we get to bigger months. But listening to your body and doing what feels best for you. Stand in prayer, either with our feet together or our feet slightly apart to give us that extra stance. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, exhale into our extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. Going back to our salute. Exhale into prayer. Coming into a wide legged mountain pose if we were not already. And we're going to breathe. We're going to bend our knees coming down to our goddess pose. So here in our goddess, we are working our pelvic floor. We are strengthening the lower parts of our bodies. This goddess pose is a labor prep pose. Two more breaths. As we stand up, as we straighten our legs coming into a standing star, palms are out towards the side. Heart chakra is open, chin slightly up. Flowing back to that salute. 
Exhale to prayer. Breathing back to that goddess stance, coming into the cactus arms, bending the knees, and maybe we can pulse the body up and down. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Going back up to standing stars, straightening out those legs. Palms are off to the side. Chin is up. Exhale into our standing salute. Exhaling back down to goddess, bending the knees. We are in our goddess pose, prayer hands. We can flow into cactus hands if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back up to standing stars, straightening out those legs, breathing our palms to our salute. Exhale into prayer. As we slightly yogi walk our feet inward, we're gonna come into a half forward fold. We can be in our prayer hands or we can bring our hands downward towards our knees, slightly gazing forward. Two breaths. As we walk our hands forward, Bringing our legs slightly together, coming back into that down dog. Maybe we are wide-legged, creating that space for baby. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our paws, we're going to drop down to our knees. And we're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Five breaths. Two more breaths. As we come out of this pose, coming back into a table position, knees are hip distance apart. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Yes, for a second, we're going to come into a bound position, bringing the bottoms of our feet together. We can be sitting on a bolster pillow if that feels good for us, or we can be sitting on a yoga mat, whatever feels good for your body. This is a hip opener, preparing the body for labor and delivery. We can have our hands connected to our feet as we slightly hinge at the hips just a little, only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go to we're going to hold this pose three breaths. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths here. Coming back up, lifting that body back forward. And we can be in our diamond, which means our feet are further away from us. Or we can be in our butterfly, which means our feet are closer towards our torso. So that's the difference between the two. One is a diamond pose. The other is a butterfly pose. So hanging out here just for a couple breaths as we allow our bodies to completely relax, noticing how you feel at this moment as we bring our palms to our tummies, connecting our palms to baby or baby to be. Everyone may not be pregnant, maybe we're manifesting pregnancy. Close the eyes. We'll gaze in the eyes downward. Finding comfort. Finding relaxation. Finding peace. Three more breaths. As we straighten out our legs, we're gonna come into a staff pose. Just giving, just giving our legs and our hip flexors a little rest here. So here in our staff pose, our bodies are nice and straight. And if we feel discomfort, we can spring our legs a little bit apart, creating that extra space for baby. Noticing how that feels when we bring the legs apart. And if that feels well, we're gonna slightly take our right hand and bring it down to our right ankle, noticing how that feels. And maybe we can bring our legs further apart, coming wider in that stretch, if we're able, 
and connect our hand to um, our feet if we're able. And slightly bend in the body towards that thigh, just a little. And you'll feel it right here behind your legs and your hamstrings. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to stretch the hamstrings without being in a um, forward fold. So feeling that stretch, if we're able, if we're only able to get our hands to our ankles, that's fine as well. Simply just lean in that body towards that thigh as much as you comfortably can. So with three more breaths. As we slightly come back up to center, using our hands to push our bodies up to center. Noticing how we feel, if all feels well, May we lean our body slightly towards the left, connecting our left hand to the lower parts of our left leg as we lean our bodies closer towards that left side. So we are kind of in our revolved position. Whenever our bodies are leaned towards our leg, we call it a revolved fold. So we're in, so we're in our revolved stretch here. I'm feeling that stretch here behind the legs and the hamstrings. And once again, we are loosening up and, strength and stretching and lengthening behind our legs. Now, if we're able to bring our head down, may we do so? Simply noticing how you feel. Two more breaths. Coming back to center. <sighs> pointing our toes upwards in the air. We are in our dorsiflex. Toes are pointing upwards as we plan to flex our toes downward towards the earth. So now we are working our ankles, showing our love, showing some love to our feet. So bringing those toes upwards, we are in our dorsiflex, our dorsiflex, planting those toes downward towards the earth like a ballerina, feeling that stretch. How do we feel here? As we take our right hand, place our right hand back Next to our right ankle, filling that side bend. We're gonna lean our body towards that right leg. We are in our revolved hand to toe stretch here. Going down as much as we comfortably can. And if we're able, and only if we're able, maybe we can take that left hand and bring it over our head and connect our left hand to our right hand or foot. Only going as much as we can Hopefully go. And at any time we can come out of the pose if we need to. Three more breaths. Exhaling out the pose, using our hands to push our bodies back to center. Final cord is nice and long here, creating that space for baby. If all feels well, we're gonna connect that left hand to the left ankle. Allowing that body to slightly lean towards the left, feeling that stretch. And we can hang out here and simply be one with this pose. Or if we're able, we can take that right hand, breathe it over our head and connect our right hand to our left toes. Bringing that head downward towards the foot, bringing that head downward towards the thigh if that feels good. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. We're going to plant to flex our toes downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch. Breathing our toes upwards towards the heavens. We are in our dorsi. Toes are upwards. Exhaling the toes back down, plant to flex. Toes are pointing towards the floor. We are stretching and soothing the body here. Spinal cords nice and long as we breathe our palms to our bellies. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Going inward as we are taking natural breaths. As we slightly bring our legs inward, noticing how we feel, we're going to come back into that down position, either a diamond or a butterfly. Our feet are together. Connecting our hands to our feet, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. 
And yes, we are working our hips today. We are doing hip openness. Using our hands to press our torsos back up. Using our hands to bring our knees inward. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Coming back to our tabletop pose. Coming to our hands and our knees. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet if that feels good for us. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna walk our feet towards our hands. We're gonna come into a half forward fold. Maybe making it wide legged to create that stance. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Breathing our left foot forward and our right foot is towards the back. We're gonna flow into a warrior one or a high lunge. So whatever feels good for you, high lunge or warrior one. Exhale into warrior two. Breathing back to warrior one or high lunge. Exhale back to warrior two, feel the movements here. Breathe back to warrior one, high lunge. As we frame that front foot, straightening up their front leg, coming into that pyramid. Maybe our bellies are off towards the side because we have big bellies, maybe. Two more breaths. Bending that front knee, coming to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. As we walk our dog. We're gonna find our pause. Drop into our knees. We're going to give the body a little rest here. We're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever you choose. Five breaths. Two more breaths. With our palms on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose. <sighs> Finding our bodies back in table as we push our bodies up to down dog. Walking our feet towards our hands, we're gonna come into a half forward fold Maybe making it slightly wide-legged here as we are gaze forward. Three breaths. Exhaling up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. <sighs> Placing our palms on our tummies. Gazing downward at the earth. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Three breaths. As we breathe our palms back to our sides, we are in our mountain pose. We're going to flow that right leg forward, coming into a warrior, a warrior one, or a high lunge. Whatever feels good for you. Warrior one or high lunge. Two more breaths. Exhale into warrior two. Breathing to warrior one or high lunge. Flowing back to warrior two. Feeling the movements here. 
Exhale in warrior one. Flow into that high lunge, twisting that body slightly forward. Framing that front leg, we're gonna come into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. If our tummy's too big, may we be slightly off towards the side. Bringing that torso slightly downward. Two more breaths. As we bend that front knee, coming into that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna drop down to our knees, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come into a seated position. Just for a second, we're gonna come onto our sides. We're gonna grab a long pillow between our thighs. We're gonna come into a fetal pose. Maybe grabbing another pillow for our neck and placing it underneath our neck for comfort. And we can place our palms on our tummies and maybe gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes if that feels good for us. And we are hanging out here in our fetal pose. And this is a manifesting pose if we are trying to manifest pregnancy. We're envisioning the fetus within our tummies here in our fetal pose. If we're already pregnant, we are simply showing love to the fetus or baby that is in our tummy. Simply focusing on how we feel right here, right now, at this present moment. Being mindful of self. Being mindful of baby. Being mindful of our intentions and what we need and want out of our session here today. As we find our bodies relaxing and soothing, melting into the yoga mat, going inward with self, bodies relax. Fetal pose, eight breaths, silent meditation. As we are taking natural, subtle breaths here, eyes are closed to gaze down. Three more breaths. Mm. Here in our fetal pose, we're gonna do a couple of circular rotations at our feet and at our ankle. Simply showing a little love to the lower parts of our bodies to our feet, which carries us everywhere we go. And maybe we can rotate our bodies at our hips if that feels good for us. As we find our pause, taking our top hand to push our bodies out of our fetal pose, we're gonna come into a seated position. Checking in with body to see how we feel. Ensuring that our spinal cord is long here. Keeping in mind we don't want to be sunken down. Having control of that body with our shoulders relaxed, melted down with away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. 
our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we place our palms on our tummies, we take a nice breath in. Exhale. Maybe we can breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. With our eyes gazed downward or closed. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice prenatal yoga and self-care with you here today. For as moms to be, We often focus on other people, on baby, on what we need to do prior to baby's arrival. But it is always a beautiful thing when we go inwards, stop and pause and show us, show baby in the belly a little moment of still, of calm, of peace. There is nothing like self-care. And I am grateful that you allowed me to practice it with you. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Peace and blessings. Love and light. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.